Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Big grins today, because we're opening some new stuff. Makes me, makes Armina very happy getting new stuff. Um, I wanted to, see I've been planning on doing a PR unboxing for a while, but usually my, what I get through the post is very scattered through the week. Um, and a lot of times I'm not in, so we have to go and collect it from the post office, or we have to arrange for another day, and it's just, it hasn't been working out, but today, Literally, it was parcel after another parcel. So I was like, cancel the other video idea that I had. We're gonna do this. We're gonna unbox some videos. Unbox some boxes, brother. Unbox some makeup. Box number one. I've got something black on my hand. My children are forever taking the scissors they're not supposed to take. Can you see, babe? It's got like black paint on it. Now I've got it on my hands. Life of a mum. Okay, so. Oh, okay. Massive box. Um, not a great deal inside. It's quite empty <laughs> inside. <laughs> okay. We've got, oh, okay, Too Faced foundations. We've got a whole bunch of Too Faced foundations. I really like Too Faced foundations. Born This Way was the foundation that I was using for so long. Um, like last year, Warm Beige was my shade. I've got, if you wanna do a zoomy zoomy, hubs you love. Um, that's warm beige. Actually, it still looks right, this one. I've got porcelain. What else did they send? Vanilla. These are really light. Defo's not those. These might come in handy for contouring, actually. And honey. Again, might come in handy for contouring. Sometimes, especially for photo shoots, when I want a more um, subtle sort of contour going on and a kind of a my skin but better or natural makeup look, I like to use different foundation colours. Woo! Loads of stuff in here. Mostly skincare, which I like. Let's see. Ooh, and some nude sticks. You guys, nudes. Have you guys used nude sticks? Nude st I'm so excited I can't talk properly. Have you guys used nude sticks? Let me know if you have and let me know what you like the most. Oh, Rock and Roll Easy Eyeliner Ink. You're gonna have to zoom on this, babe. I love nude sticks. Okay, so this is an eyeliner with a circular wheel on the end. And that's how you apply it. How cool is that? Let's let that set and then we'll see how budge proof it is. This is Black Moon. I love a good, I can never get enough eyeliners. Liquid, stick, powder, everything. I just love eyeliners. I'm looking for a really great eyeliner that doesn't have flashback because most of the liquid ones that I have um, kind of have this glossy finish to them, which you can see in pictures as well. So often what I find myself doing with eyeliners, liquid or sometimes even gel ones actually, is I have to go over them with black eyeshadow powder just to mattify it a bit, which photos way better for um, photo shoots and stuff. Not like on a day-to-day -day basis, but where I'm looking for a real jet black, true black eyeliner. This seems really good. It's a little bit reflective, but I mean, I'm digging the new technology. I love when brands come out with just like new ways of delivering product, new ingredients. Oh, skincare stuff. What is this? SVR, cleansing foaming gel, pure and mild, sens for sensitive skin, soap free, alcohol free, colorant free, paraben free. It's soft and creamy foam, eliminates impurities. The skin is perfectly clean, refreshed and oxygenated. Massage into damp skin on the face every day, rinse thoroughly. Um, yeah, some of the kind of more drugstore face washes that I've tried in the past have totally stripped my skin. I try to do oil control with products, but there's going too far with that as well and it, that can completely strip the skin, dry it out, so your skin then tries to overcompensate and create more oils. It's a big disaster. So I like to try to use gentle face washes or face washes with, with real good ingredients that are going to help my skin rather than too much alcohol, etc. Okay, this is another one from SVR. It says Hydrated C20 Cream. C20 is an orange, so I'm guessing this has got, yep, vitamin C. Vitamin C 20% plus hyaluronic acid. Oh my gosh, <laughs> love it. I've been looking for different vitamin C products um, lately because the ones that I've been using have been finishing. I kind of jump between different products um, in my skincare routine. So let's have a quick look at this. Excellent, 
Excellent. Airtight packaging. Airtight packaging is crucial where it comes to vitamin C products if you want them to last long because vitamin C loses its efficacy when it gets exposed to the air. So when it, when it reacts with you know, oxygen or, or you know, water, so you shouldn't apply when your face is wet or damp either, um, it stops working quite as well. So a good indicator of how potent that vitamin C is and how well it's gonna work in your skin is the packaging. So this is airtight and it has 20%, which is actually really quite high. So really, really looking forward to this. Vitamin C is great for dealing with um, skin hyperpigmentation or any um, pigmentation left after blemishes. And I'm telling you guys, it works. Because I've been using vitamin C for quite a while. I've got another vitamin C product here. It's, you know what? I should have wished for a Porsche. Because I've been wanting vitamin C products. Hope she's getting excited. Don't think Porsche, Porsche. Are gonna, Porsche are gonna send us a car, babe. <laughs> in my PR. In Tomorrow we'll be like, what's in my PR today? Keys to a Porsche. Um, no, I'm not actually even really into cars, but whatever. Um, vitamin C Radiant Serum from Diego Della Palma. Never used this brand before. Am I in focus? Um, vitamin C Brightening Serum, and it says that it's stabilized vitamin C, which is always good. Because like I said, vitamin C is just, it's a tricky molecule to work with for brands because it can become destabilized very easily, you know, when it's in contact with the air, for example. So this is not entirely airtight packaging, but let's read the book. Vitamin C brightening serum with 10%. Normally with vitamin C products, you will see the word bright or brightening, skin brightening in there because um, that is what it does. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, apply a few drops in the morning and night to cleanse skin before the specific cream. So this looks like it is a more lightweight formula. Yeah, it's quite serum-y. This is the Philorga Supreme Regenerating Fluid uh, for wrinkles, firming, and radiance. See, there's a lot of products that claim to do stuff. You should always look into why those claims are there. Okay, this contains hyaluronic acid and collagen and vitamins A, H, and E. Overactive anti-aging correction. Cool, okay. This might be nice as a daytime cream, especially under my makeup. I like lightweight creams these days, uh, ones that don't leave too much of an oily residue. Oh, okay, and then we've got a Wrinkles Firming and Radiance Supreme Regenerating Serum as well. I'm guessing this is to be used at night. Oh, no, <laughs> the power of retinol. I heart retinol. Retinol is my life right now. It has improved my skin so much, like really, really improved my skin. So this contains retinol combined with DNA complex and vitamin C, provides the best uh, results of visibly rejuvenated and youthful looking skin. Am I going like all cross-eyed when I'm looking down? Okay. Uh, okay, really, really excited to use this. Okay, so that's the bottle. Again, it's in an airtight container, which tells me that the vitamin C that's in this product is gonna be really in its in the best possible um, quality that it can be in, simply because of the packaging. It makes a really big difference. Okay, next thing, more stuff from Philorga. This is their oxygen peel. Ooh, oxygen peel. I thought this was, a, it looks like a micellar lotion, doesn't it? Um, lotion micro peeling. Ooh, I am all about the peeling. Hand me the peeling products. Da, da, da. This targets wrinkles, pores, dull complexion, and even skin tone. Intensive smoothing, ultra fresh hydration. But what is it and how do you use it? Um, apply to clean skin in the evening using a cotton pad to complete the makeup removal, which is great. I never use just one cleanser one time. I use a cleanser, either the same one twice. Usually I use two cleansers in my skincare routine if I'm wearing makeup, without makeup just once. Use daily after cleansing, avoid the eye contour. Okay, so no going near the eyes or the eye makeup with this. This looks really, really good. I'm gonna look into what makes it appealing lotion later, but usually it's some kind of acid, which again, I'm all about the acids um, in my skincare. SVR, this is a toner, pure and mild. I'm not really into toners, but completes the cleansing routine for radiant, cleansed, moisturized skin. 
I like to travel with stuff like this. Like I keep a bottle of this kind of stuff in the car for if we've had a long day, a long drive somewhere, we're on our way home and I want to take my makeup off or I want to take some of it off, um, then I would rather reach for something like this than makeup wipes. Makeup wipes are just, Hubsy's looking at me like, I've just uttered the most hmm? offensive word. Yeah, that's a big, see even Hubsy knows this, you guys. Yeah. Makeup wipes on the face are a no-no, unless you are so desperate. You're like deserted on a desert island. Deserted on a desert island? Stranded on a desert island, see? Oh, okay, so my cellar water as well from SVR. Fabidabs. I like my cellar water as the first step of cleansing. Again, I don't think that one swipe of my cellar water over the face to cleanse it of makeup is enough. This bag has got, let me hide my address. Christian Dior on the front. Always exciting. I got more excited than you. I got goodies. Yeah, Hubsy did get more excited. She's like, oh my God, Dior have sent you stuff. I'm like, yeah, standard. No, I'm kidding. Dior cooling stick. Oh, this is their new cooling stick. This is an eyeshadow stick. Um, part of their summer line. Back to this. Ooh. Waterproof. I mean, the packaging is just yummy. Let me just do a quick swatchy swatch for you guys. I love eyeshadow sticks. I'm wearing one today as well. They're just so easy to apply. Look at that. Beaut. Extremely lightweight, very smooth, very subtle. Love it. Right up my street. What else? Um, lip tattoo in orange. Well, that's nice. That's such a mm, it's quite subtle. It feels very lightweight. This has fallen out. Dual skin mineral nude bronze. Let's see if the bronzer is oh, that packaging. Oh, let's see if it's the right tone. I normally don't get on. Yeah, I'm not sure if I would get on with this. It looks beautiful. Oh, actually, it might work quite nicely on like, as a blush. I quite like these, I like that color. Well, it might actually work. Whenever I try and use bronzers of this kind of tone, um, they just look, they just, they don't seem to bronze me <laughs> very much. They just seem like they're, they go a bit orangey on me actually, if I'm honest with you. But I might give this a go. If I like it, you'll see it in a video. Uh, ooh! Ooh, an eyeshadow palette. Do you know what? Half the joy of luxury products is their packaging. Feels so good. Gorgeous. Oh, yes. I've been into blues, blue eyeshadow. Look at that. Shall I swatch it really quickly to show you guys how? Oh! That's nice, really nice. That's actually a really good color payoff. Look how easily it blended. Look at that. Just a sweep of this over the eyelids. Look how easily it blended. That's nice. Good stuff. Um, I've got some other shades as well. So I've got another lip tattoo. Ooh, I like. This is beautiful. Love this color. Some more lip stuff. So this is the lipstick in orange wave. It's swatchy, swatchy. See, this is where I need my makeup wipe to wipe my hands. Ooh, this is nice. I'm gonna put some of this on. I've totally stained the wand. But it's fine. All my lip gloss ones are stained because I mix my lip colors so much. Feels lovely. I've also got two, oh, nail polishes. Nail polish here. What's up with the oranges? <laughs> oh, this is quite nice. It's got little gold reflective bits in it. That's POW. 
I'm telling you, if this one's another shade of orange, I will give up. No, it's pink. Oh, this is nice. Corally pink. Let's watch this for you. What do you think? What kinds of nail colors are you guys into? Let me know. The last package of today. A bunch of face masks. See, I think I just put out the beacon for face masks and all the face masks of the world are coming to me. That is a lot of face masks from Holla and Glow. Da -da 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 -da. Check out our 24 karat gold lip, eye and face masks. Enriched with real 24 karat gold. I've got a printed hair sheet mask cap. Oh, I love this. What a great idea. A hair mask in an actual mask form. Oh, this is such a good idea. Hydrating hair sheet mask. Just whack myself in the face with it as well. Nourishing hair sheet mask. Defo's gonna try these. I'll let you guys know how I get on with this. I'm gonna use one of these today. Money Honey Hydrogel Lip Mask. I love lip masks. Lip masks, eye masks, oh, actually masks in general, who am I kidding? Uh, fried out replenishing hair sheet mask for frizzy damaged hair. Money Honey Hydrogel Face Mask enriched with 24 karat gold. That's everything that I have to share with you. That is the stuff I got my PR today. I'm gonna to be off now, go and get some food ready for the, for the kidaroonies for when they get home from school. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Click thumbs up if you did. Um, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell, leave me a lovely comment, um, and I will catch you soon in my next video. Take care.